Is Unreal Engine hard to learn? Well, if you've never opened up any game engine before, it might feel like you're falling into the matrix. Blueprints, nodes, viewports, material graphs, and what on earth even is a line trace by channel? At first glance, Unreal Engine looks like a beast, but here's the truth. Unreal Engine isn't as hard as you think. In fact, it might just be the most powerful tool you'll ever use, and it's free. So let me explain. A massive interface, hundreds of buttons, five view modes, and a blueprint system that looks like an alien interface. And don't even get me started on lighting or optimization. But here's the thing, Unreal Engine isn't hard, it's just deep. And once you understand the flow, everything starts to click. This is not Unreal Engine 3. This is a new era brought to us by Epic Games. This is Unreal Engine 5 and it is built differently. Nanite lets you throw in movie quality assets without crashing. Lumen gives us real time lighting that looks like a Pixar film. Metasound replaces clunky audio tools with real sound design power. And Blueprint, it is a visual scripting language that even a non-coder can learn. So what is the result? You can create triple A quality visuals with zero experience in C++. No coding whatsoever. So you might be asking yourself, how hard is it really? And hard is relative. But if you've never made a game before, of course Unreal Engine is going to feel overwhelming. But compared to Unity, CryEngine and Godot, Unreal Engine is surprisingly intuitive if you use the right approach. So you want to build a shooter game. There is a template for that. Want to make a forest, foliage painting, is built into the engine. Want to make cinematic cutscenes? Unreal Engine literally powers the Mandalorian. Like, how amazing is that? It's not hard, it's just a lot. And that's what makes it powerful. So let's talk about the Unreal Engine ecosystem. You are not doing this alone. There are thousands of free tutorials, Epic Games gives out monthly assets, you can download pre-built systems from the marketplace, and forums, discords, communities are all overflowing with people that want to help. Creators like Unreal Sensei, Gorka Games, and Ryan Laley are incredible resources for learning complex topics broken down into bite-sized magic. There's also blueprint libraries, free animation packs, and entire open world templates. Unreal Engine isn't just software, it is an ecosystem. And once you step inside, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. So what is the smartest way to learn Unreal Engine? Don't start with an open world MMO. Start small, a third person character, a gun, a door that opens, then grow. Follow tutorials, but don't just watch them, actually, do what the tutorials say, then take what you've learned and build something original. The video you see in the background right now is an environment built entirely out of free assets using a free engine and free tutorials that I watched online. I made this all by myself in just under an hour and a half of time. You can do it too. Make use of the free assets that are online make use of the free tutorials and the entire ecosystem of Unreal Engine. Now here is some huge advice. Fail fast, break stuff and Google everything like crazy, just like I do. The faster you finish small projects, the sooner you will get to building the big ones. So let's go on to easy versus hard. What is easy? Visual scripting with blueprints, building levels, basic animations, and using Quixel Mega Scans for free 4K assets, and also fab. So what's hard? Optimization, replication, multiplayer logic, sound design, advanced material graphs, and don't even get me started on AI behavior trees. But there is a cheat code, and it is Unreal Engine. You don't need to learn everything. Unreal Engine lets you do 80% of the work with 20% of the knowledge, if you focus on what you want to create. So how long till you're building real games? Honestly, you could probably have a working prototype in a weekend, a polished demo in a month, and a full indie game in a year. Unreal Engine scales with you. It's used by solo devs, indie teams, and Hollywood studios, all with the same tools, all for free. So I will ask you again, 
Is Unreal Engine hard to learn? Yes, at first. You'll get frustrated, you'll hit roadblocks, but the moment your first blueprint works, your first level lights up with Lumen, or your first character moves, it clicks. And when it clicks, you are hooked. You do not need to be a coder. You do not need to be a team. You just need curiosity, a little stubbornness, and a bit of YouTube. Because with Unreal Engine, the only limit is your imagination. You do not need to do it alone. A lot of creators also offer extra content on Patreon. Things like project files, behind the scenes breakdowns, or even direct Q&A. It's not about paying for success. It's about having more tools in your toolbox and connecting with other people on the same path. No pressure, just know them doors are open if you want to go deeper. So let's address the elephant in the room. There is going to be a point, maybe after your first prototype or halfway through a tutorial series, where things stop making sense. You'll hit a wall, blueprints that once clicked suddenly confuse you. A simple feature takes hours to debug, that is the plateau. Every developer hits it, and the key is to not mistake it for a failure. This is where most people give up, but the ones that keep going, they're not smarter, they just feel more comfortable being uncomfortable. When you're stuck, zoom out, take a break, watch a devlog, build something silly, or just go back to a system you do understand and try to improve it. Momentum matters more than perfection. Unreal Engine is deep and it's supposed to feel overwhelming sometimes. This just means you're growing in your journey as a game developer. If there's one piece of advice that turns beginners into actual game devs, it's this. Finish something. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't even need to be good, but finishing a project, even a tiny one, gives you way more experience than starting five ambitious projects, dropping one, dropping two, and then eventually they all fail. You learn how to polish, how to optimize, and how to package, and to walk away. That is a skill in itself. So instead of chasing the perfect idea or waiting until you're ready, try something that feels small, a door that opens, a puzzle, a basic enemy AI, you'll be amazed how much clarity that gives you. And when you finish, show it off, share a clip, post a devlog, that feedback is fuel. And it builds confidence and confidence builds momentum. Be proud of everything you make. I wish you the best of luck in your game development journey. My name is Carly and I will catch you next time. Peace.